Hey everyone, Jerry here with the 220 I'm in the middle of kind of cleaning up this tank as well. I removed um, all that Java Trident that you were looking at a minute ago in the 75 gallon. I culled from basically this rock here. You can see how it's all clear now. And I also took from over here. And then there was some more on this rock here, but you can still see I have a ton of it. A ton of it over here. And I also grab some from this rock here you can you can see where I'm pointing that used to be covered in it so that allowed a lot more light to come back into these sections so I can remote grow my hair grass it also caused less shade so the cardinals are out more now so you can I'm going to show you here the risi cardio looks really nice on the rocks the problem is as you can see here so here's, here's a section that, you know, I'm just going to say, oh, float it off. And what will happen is it takes much smaller sections than this to do it. But what they do is they get into the hair grass, like here. I can't see any because I've cleaned a lot of it, but there's a piece there. And what happens is it, it keeps all that hair grass together. And then it doesn't flow. It doesn't, you know, um, so here you can see. The hair grass sticks together then, and you don't get that nice swaying motion. So see, see there, there's that that I picked out of there, and there's thousands of of this all over. So I'm constantly combing it out, and it's a major pain. So here you can see I have some actually some red cherry shrimp. I've been trying to grow them for ages, and they're finally doing their thing over the last several months. So you can you can see here that. I have a lot of the Riciocardia, and I still haven't replanted these two valleys simply because all of the loose Riciocardia seems to accumulate there and it's easy to clean up. So I think I'm going to remove it and then just give it away, or well, probably sell it. I won't say give it away, but to friends I would. Um, so you can see here the, the result of me combing, it, it causes some of the the hair grass to, to come up and, and be dislodged, um, uprooted I guess is the word I'm looking for. You can see here, you know, I have a lot of the rissy and I really like the way it looks, but it's just too much of a pain in the ass to constantly be pulling it out of the hair grass. Um, here you can see this area here was totally covered from here all the way down to here with java fern today and I cleaned all that out so now that allows all of this hair grass to get light again and you can see here that I have these two rocks that are totally more that are moss covered I'll clean those off again the thing that I do like however and you can see that this moss just gets into the pellia and it's just it's just a pain to to keep it clean after a while so you can see it's it's right in there see but what does look nice is I have this nice mound of there's a little shrimp um, but I have this fissidens moss that's grown really well there that I, I might keep I'm not sure but that's about it so I have a, a ton of rissia you know it's all over the I mean this rissia cardi it's all over the place um, literally um, and that's about it I, 